All right, folks, this is part two here of the target. That was the Xenon 1T uh, device. They were either trying to trying to detect dark energy or dark dark matter or both. I'm not 100% because they seem to be going back and forth with those two. But let me let me get a quick recap because I'm literally going through these line by line for the first time. So the last video was the first time I was really going through the session line by line. Yeah, okay. This is really important here because in my experience what I was experiencing right here was I was seeing I was in this space and this oh I got a kitty that wants to, you want to come up here you want to come up here hmm come on come on come on girl come on girl you want to come up here come on kid <laughs> Come on, either come up or don't. All right, come on, good girl. <laughs> you gotta say hi to everybody. Oh, say hi, kitty. Hello. Hello, everybody. That's sunshine. What a kid. Okay, so my experience, what I was experiencing right here was seeing this inside of a laboratory. Oh, don't bite that. Um, and seeing this illuminated element here from behind there was a corner and that's where I was seeing that from so I want to know what's what's going on here these these are the ideas here of uh, tachyons and Ro Rosen bridges and quantum events and all that kind of stuff I think I, I did this I did this in the last video and here again, I'm in the laboratory, and there's some some kind of a thing going on here. And this this is this is it here. This is the laboratory. Feels like it was in control, but this was not out of control, which was <laughs> a big. Element. I think I went. I got through this part here. Yeah, I was in a, a gas cloud. Move in. Move into to it. Okay, this is where I left off here. I'm pretty sure that there was a gas cloud. Now I want to. I want to get real clear about where I where I am here. Because in this experience here, I can see this illuminated. Oops, this illuminated thing here. And it was difficult to um, describe or explain because all I knew was, all I could um, the only way, I, this was the best way I could describe it. But I knew that there was something inside of here that I needed to look at. Um, but it was, it was difficult to, to get to the point where I could look into this illuminated energy field here. I want to make that clear as I go into the next section here. Sorry if my clicking mouse. So okay, so there's the gas cloud, which is what that is. This thing is filled with uh, xenon gas. And then there's a device inside there here that they're using um, to detect either the dark energy or the dark matter. I'm going to read this real quick before I keep going. As this was just from September, Exper the, the Xenon 1T may have directly detected dark energy. Some unexplained results from the Xenon 1T dark matter detector, a 13 kilo, kilo is that kilogram? vat of super pure liquid xenon shielded from cosmic rays in a 
a cryostat submerged in water deep 1.5 kilometers beneath the Grand Sasso Mountains in Italy may have been caused by dark energy particles produced in a region of the sun with strong magnetic fields and not the dark matter. Oh, let me read that again. That's interesting. What's up, kid? may have been caused by dark energy particles produced in a region of the sun with strong magnetic fields and not the dark matter the equipment was designed to detect according to physicists oh that's interesting so they they were picking up things that they were were not sure they were going to get all right kid you need to figure out what you're doing yeah come on babe come on let's go <laughs> okay, sorry about this cat. I love her. I love her so much. Okay. All right, so then, you know, I knew what I had to do. Moving in, into it is like entering a luminous gas cloud. Then there's a solid here, meaning that, you know, the, the detection device inside of this gas, um, illuminated gas uh, thing here feels box shaped like there is a compartment inside it's not easy to draw or even conceptualize and it wasn't it took me energy just to look at it from from the forward perspective like this it took it took an enormous amount of energy the inside of something surrounded in this energy the inside of something surrounded in this energy or gas cloud inside this compartment here. But what is going on here? What is what is happening? The word tachyon keeps popping up in my mind, but again, this could be a generic descriptor of some fusion type of energy. Again, the, you know, tachyon, I'm not some expert. Tachyon is just like an exotic energy for a word that that I I, I can remember. I don't, I don't know what it all means. It feels controlled though. Again, I have the idea of a remote controlled object that gets confused with a UFO. Let's, that's interesting. Oops. Come on, kid. This can move around or be controlled. Like this is the guy here in the laboratory and then here's the, the the gas cloud, the contraption inside of it, uh, and it and they have they have control over it. Come on, kid, sit. You need to get sitting. You need to get sitting, kid. Okay. Inside of this thing. Inside of this, where this thing is. Reminds me of a fusion reactor with some solids in there, like lead or something. A very solid structural base with some charge moving from it. So right, right, do they have a picture? In here, this is where I was, in here. What is it used for, I'm wondering? I'm wondering here. Moving back and forth, like it is weaving something or working a pattern. A pattern, though, I wonder. A newly discovered pattern, I question. How things move, how things rotate, how they orbit. The pattern, something, the pattern something moves in. It's almost like finding symbols in the or a energy pattern or sequence it's like finding it's like finding almost like finding symbols in the or a energy pattern that was interesting what is it for though i wonder and how is it useful a sequence slash pattern is useful but how i wonder 
It becomes how to recognize something. Oh, that's very interesting. But what I want to... A recognizable pattern. Like something on a defined route or path running a pattern. I wonder if that's... I wonder how... I wonder if they found something like that. I want to read that again. I want to read that again. Moving back and forth, like it is weaving something or working a pattern. I wonder if that's like the, uh, the dark energy or the dark matter interacting with, in, that, in that environment with the Xenon, maybe. Maybe, it, maybe there is some type of pattern. A newly discovered pattern, how things move, how things rotate and orbit. The pattern something moves in. It's almost like finding symbols in the or a energy pattern or sequence. But what is it for and is it useful though, I wonder? This is really interesting. The sequence slash pattern is, is useful, but how? It becomes how to recognize something. It must be. It must be how they could recognize the difference between any other type of energy signature and either dark energy or dark matter. Write what they're saying here. They must have they must have been able to find something like that. A recognizable pattern like something on a defined route or path running a pattern. But what for though, I wonder? And why? It's like setting up something, running that route or sequence, pre-planning, mapping it out. Like, I wonder if they had some, if they, maybe, probably in this thing, in this, they, they created this environment inside of here that was conducive to these types of, I don't know, I guess, energy signals or whatever to interact like a uh, I think that's what the one person was saying the xenon provided an, an environment that was um, either conducive or encouraging maybe uh, of, of the possibility of detecting these these signatures Maybe that's what they were doing here, mapping and out sequencing. But what does that mean, though, I'm wondering? Trial runs. Getting it sequenced correctly. But for what, though, I wonder? That question brings me to the event, quote-unquote, event aspect. If it is an event, it is pre-planned, a trial run. Like the military will run drills over and over like that. I'm sure they did that here. I'm sure they, they had run all kinds of tests and, and, um, and uh, like AI sequencers or whatever of the possibility of, 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 of capturing this thing. I mean, it's too big of an experiment not to, not to. But what is the event though, I wonder? Had an AOL here of def deflecting a comment. What is the event? And this is this was it right here. There's there is something. I'm going to read this. And I'm going to explain this. There's something turning in the center of the illuminated gas. Is it an element, though? I wonder. And this thing here. Sorry for my mouse. This is undulating and turning. This was very intense to look at. Now I got to explain what happened here. Now I may, I may just make this part two. For me to actually see this or perceive this was not easy. It was very, very intense. There was this illuminated element here and I literally, it took effort to turn 
my perceptual awareness to see this and it was undulating and turning and I had and I drew it out as I had seen it and this was moving around as well it was wasn't like a solid it was undulating and turning inside of the gas once I found out let me go a little bit more here Reminds me of the center of a, a reactor or reaction, very charged, very energetic, almost boiling or radio, radioactive. That was the best way that I could describe it. Because when I'm, when I'm looking at this and I'm going over this, what this, to me, what I saw there was either dark energy or dark matter. I had seen it, perceived it right here, in the in, inside of the gas chamber, inside of this gas. Here. This is this was very important to me. This is very important to me. To go over this. That's really that's really that's really something there. I'm kind of I'm kind of speechless about that. I was pretty speechless in it, but again, I'm I'm blind in this target. You know, in 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 a session, completely blind. Um, I don't have any reference for what I'm what I'm what I'm documenting here. To go back and go over it with the feedback of what this is. To find that this device, what this device is used for, and see this, I'm I'm speechless, speechless. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna just I'm just gonna end it on that one, and because um, I want I want to contemplate this for a while. So that's that's it for this part two. I'll have part three. I'll try to get part three done tomorrow, and. I'll see you tomorrow.